perfect. Well, hello, hello, everybody. My name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And today we have a viewer request. All right, so remember, if it sucks, you ask for it. Links for the original creator will be down below. I'll be a residential black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. So let's go ahead and not bump my mic and get into it. Past, oh, I love that movie. Or future, one kind of fighter has stood the test of time. The swordsman. And today's combatants are two of the most skilled warriors to ever wield a blade. Is she just Rora a bunny? Noah Zoro, the oh. feared swordsman of the Straw Hat Pirates. And Urza Scarlet, the battle mage of the Fairy Tale Guild. He's whiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze Ooh, their weapons. Fucking hell. Hold up. How old is she? She, she cute. Look, I gotta do research. I gotta do research. Age. And. Okay, she's 19. She fine as hell. Let's go. Armor and skills to find out who would win a death battle. <laughs> as a child, Rora Noah Zoro dreamed of becoming the greatest swordsman in the world. But he didn't just enroll at a dojo. He showed up, challenged everyone, and then just sort of stuck around. Yeah. Zoro's dojo training sharpened his natural talent with a sword, but there was one person he could never quite manage to beat. His sensei's daughter, Kuina. They dueled a lot, and Kuina won every single matchup. All 2001 of them. Damn, you think you would have got at least one in? Despite the constant defeat, Kuina and Zoro were very close friends. Together, they promised that someday one of them would become the world's best swordsman. And then she fell down some stairs and died. Which just seems like an unacceptable way for a master swordsman to bite the dust. Does Gravity is a competition thing. for world's best swordsman, though. True. I mean, that's how I became the world's best shotgun woodcarver. After Kuina's death, Zoro inherited her sword and used it to hone his skills even further. Eventually leaving the dojo in search of the current title holder of world's greatest swordsman, Dracul Mihawk. But he immediately got himself lost. With I'm, nothing I'm better to, to do, he became a bounty hunter and wandered around the ocean until he ran into a weird, stretchy pirate. Kid. Yep. <laughs> you mean Monkey D. Luffy oh, brought man. Zoro onto his crew of Straw Hat Pirates. I remember that. That's one of. Like, I know I always say, like, I, I have to rewatch One Piece, but that's actually one of the most memorable episodes because they were taught, uh, that little whiny kid that ended up joining a guard and everything else, and he was just like, hey, yo, this is this crazy motherfucker, he over here, and stuff like that, he a bounty hunter, he's like the best swordsman out there, and shit like that, and then Luffy was like, I guess I gotta add that nigga to my scene, man. <laughs> actually worked out pretty well since Luffy was already looking to hire him anyway. Turns <laughs> out, Zoro has quite a reputation. At this point, he was already a master swordsman, and after finding and training under Mihawk, his swordsmanship became legendary. He created his own fighting style, Santoryu. Also called Three Sword Style, because he uses three swords! One in each hand, and one in his freaking mouth. That doesn't seem very safe. Oh, shut up, Wiz. Badasses don't care about safety. Regardless, with the three sword style, Zoro can perform several unique attacks, including the Onigiri, where he strikes with all three blades at once. Or the Tatsumaki, where he makes a tornado dragon. By swinging his swords a certain way, he can fire compressed air projectiles toward an opponent, like with his deadliest technique, the 1080 pound cannon. And last but not least, he knows the Kutoryu nine sword style. Wait, did he just grow four more arms and two more heads? How the oh, hell did he do shit. that? It's just an illusion, but it still somehow has physical presence. He's like a human slap chop with a total of nine swords. That's one way to put it. In addition to his skills with a blade, Zoro is able to use Hyper, oh, a mysterious that? power that every living being possesses, but only a select few have learned how to use. 
Hockey, much like Neapolitan ice cream, comes in three flavors, and Zoro only has access to chocolate and vanilla. Chocolate? I... what? I, I don't even... Well, one of those flavors is observation hockey. That's vanilla! Of course. Which, in some ways, is similar to Spider-Man's Spidey Sense. Zoro can sense the location of other people, even if they're invisible or far away, and can also predict most opponents' attacks. Then chocolate, everyone's favorite hockey flavor, is armament hockey. This lets him form an invisible armor around himself as protection, or harden his swords to make his strikes cut through almost so anything. With both hockey, Zoro has been a real asset to the Straw Hat Pirates. Oh, I thought it went all over his body. I was about to say, so Zoro becomes black? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They've traveled the world and <laughs> had a lot of weird adventures. Like that time, Zoro fought a literal living mountain man named Pika and sliced him clean in half. A strike so powerful it didn't just cut through Pika, it sent his top half flying upward. Considering Pika's enormous size and approximate mass, this strike had to have been more powerful than the first ever deployed hydrogen bomb, the 11 megaton Castle Romeo. Oh my God. Also, Zoro's pretty damn fast. One time he moved so quickly he seemed invisible to a room full of highly trained assassins. And when the odds are against him, he'll keep pushing himself, even past the point of bleeding out. Thus, he's powered through some incredibly intense pain, such as... A bubble? <laughs> Holy shit! How the hell is he still standing after that? That's a good question. After a battle with Kuma, a bear man because this is One Piece, Zoro took on not only his own pain from near death, but also Luffy's, despite being told that doing so would surely kill him. But it just didn't. He doesn't even brag about it. What a badass. Zoro is definitely the... So can somebody explain to me why the bubbles are so important? Because uh, that didn't tell me shit. Like he can blow bubbles, the bubbles can go inside your body. I don't know, I don't know what the fuck that means. Stoic badass type, but he can't do everything. He's a sword fighter above all, and prefers to fight up close and personal. He also has the world's shittiest sense of direction. He gets lost without someone there literally reading the map for him, and could never survive on his own without his friends. You might think Zoro would be more of a lone wolf type of guy, but no. Much like how Kuina's death spurred him on to become a great swordsman, it's his friends who keep him fighting. I set sail for only one reason, to meet you. And what is your goal? To beat you. Hey! Talk to Scarlet shit. grew up in a small rural town called Rosemary Village. It was pretty picturesque as far as childhoods go. Oh. That looks so nice. And then I just, I'm sorry, I've never watched Fairy Tale, but every time I see some nice scenery like this, I, I'm being dead serious. And this is gonna just sound so bad. I just think of like a fucking Titan in the background. You know, I just think of like a Titan in the background, just fucking like some shit up. Blood is coming out the building. Kids are running, trying to get to safety. And then a Titan, you know, picks that little motherfucker up. You know what I'm saying? Takes that little motherfucker up and then puts it in his mouth and then smiles weirdly. I know I'm an artist. I'm gonna be selling my art on Etsy. Etsy. Don't worry. Shay, Shay Too Sweet got that art. You know what I'm saying? Links, links for my Etsy gonna be down below. Oh well, yeah, don't forget to like this video, please, please, please. Thank you. Uh, death, death battles are something I can't monetize. So. At least you can do it. Just like the video for me. Like the video. Donation links will be down below. But at least just like the video for sister. Thank you. Hold on, Wiz. I'm getting a premonition. Despite everything seeming perfect, Aww. something, something terrible happens. Hey. Whatever. Those that family looks weird, and I, it looks like a starting of a scary movie with that damn family. Look at that family. Look like a start of a scary movie, and you already know who's gonna die first. The dog, the only nigga I care about. I don't really care about them kids over here, but the dog is gonna be the first one, and he gonna be scared to go into the house because these, because these people are like, well, we just bought this creepy house, and it was only for fifty cent and everything else, and everything else. The dog gonna be scared, and then the dog gonna get got. Perfect. Something, 
Something terrible that happened. Girl was a murderous creepy. cult attacked, destroyed the city, and enslaved the children to build a tower to resurrect their evil overlord. Oh. There it is. Well, that escalated. Young Urza was tortured, and while she may have lost an eye in the process, she also gained a friend. Jalal Fernandez. She got he actually back. gave Urza her last name, Scarlet, after her red hair. She and her buddies swore they'd escape, so Urza ended up staging a revolt and saved the other slaves thanks to discovering her latent magical powers. Unfortunately, not everyone made it out. Turns her out friend. Jalal got possessed by some spirit that made him a huge dick, and she had to go without him. Fine, if you want to leave so badly, then I'm not going to stop you, but you'll have to go alone. After that nightmare, Urza swore to dedicate her life to helping and protecting the innocent, and so joined oh, the so Fairy Tale Magician's girl. Guild. Luckily for them, she possessed a great skill set for a mage. Her main thing is requip magic, which is basically like having an armory with you at all times, without having to lug it around. Requip magic allows Urza to summon her vast array of weapons and armor mm. at will, meaning she can use multiple combinations of swords, lances, and outfits all in one fight without ever really slowing down. That's a girl Damn, power. Damn, that'd be useful for all my weapons. How many is she packing? She's rumored to have access to as many as 100 sets of armor and 200 weapons. Oh nice. my god, I as want As far as armor team. goes, her go-to is the standard heart cruise set. But there's also the Heaven's Wheel armor, where oh. she can sense... Oh, 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 go back. ...the standard heart cruise set. But there's also... Whoa, that jingle physics. The heavens wheel are. Holy shit, she is a. She's a. She's like Eisen, but sexier. I don't know. She just looks like a butterfly to me. Armor where she can send swords Damn. flying at people. The spiky defensive adamantine armor and the black okay, wig and she... flame empress armors, which oh have wings. Oh my god. god. Armor where she can send swords flying at people. The spiky defensive adamantine armor. Oh, that's her Gundam shit. Armor and the black wing and flame. God. Damn, she's cute. And I don't even like redheads because they have no souls, but I mean, damn. Flame empress armors, which have wings. For oh, flying! Shit. Don't forget her giant armor, which she uses with a lance. Purgatory armor, which has a lot of spikes, and uh, seduction armor. You, her Tatiana armor. Okay. I'm not really sure what purpose this serves. Probably to make enemies terribly aroused. Ever tried to fight with an erection whiz? <laughs> Believe me, it's not easy. Why does hold up, what the fuck is going on here? Is that? Is that the Y boner? Why is there? Y'all explain it to me. Explain it to me. Explain it to me because I don't know what the fuck that 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 means. Okay, explain that to me because you y'all already know Shay don't know the lore and everything else. But I just want to know: Does this stand for a penis, or is it a swan that she has underneath her dress? Either way, it. It looked wrong as hell. Okay, there you go. Right. Well, Urza claims her most powerful armor is the Armadura Fairy Armor, which is very... Pink. Pink. These uh, are fancy and all, but sometimes she doesn't even bother suiting up. If her back's against the wall, Urza equips her clear heart clothing. This enhances her speed and attack over defense, and channels all her magical energy into her katanas for a decisive blow. She can charge magic through her swords to perform all sorts of magical attacks, even mixing and matching weapons and armors to better her chances in a fight. She's also just really good at sword fighting. Actually, she's really good with a lot of weapons, including hand to hand. All of this makes Urza an excellent addition to the Fairy Tale Guild. She quickly became one of its highest ranking mages and was the youngest member to ever pass the S Class Mage Promotion Test. An incredibly difficult gauntlet only the strongest and wisest of warriors can even attempt. Speaking of achievements, she's pretty friggin' strong. Don't believe me? Well, here she is, lancing a hole through a giant floating cube. This cube was about 100 million cubic miles in volume. To punch through it, Urza's lance must have dealt about 16 kilotons of force. Urza's also fast enough to deflect bullets point blank from a flintlock pistol. Guns with a muzzle velocity of about 540 miles per hour. And that's without a speed boost from her armor. Right, many of her armor sets grant her stat boosts, increasing her speed, magic, defense, etc. She survived plenty of destructive blasts, including one that blew up an island. 
Considering Shit. that island's size, that's an explosion equivalent to two kilotons of TNT. So she's sexy, can survive island-busting attacks, and has a shit ton of weapons? She's basically perfect. Just wish she used a gun or two. Well, she may have a vast armory, but swapping them in and out requires magic, and she can run her supply down if she's not careful. So it's just like a mana bar in those fantasy games you always play. Exactly! Yeah. Um, though even when she's out of magic, she's still quite deadly in hand-to-hand. -hand. Like when she fought her alternate self from another parallel universe. That universe has a lot less clothing. Sign me up! But when you're among the best in the guild, you get the job done, no matter the limits. I will withstand any physical pain to protect the ones that I love! Okay, kinky. Alright. Um... I don't really care if I win or lose this one. I, I, I'm gonna go with simping, okay? And I simp the hardest on her, okay? I'm gonna go with simping. I, I really think, I really think the dude from One Piece is gonna, is gonna, is gonna put up a fight. But my simping is telling me to go with the big titties. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna lock in. I'm gonna lock in with the titties, and we're gonna go. <laughs> The combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a death battle! Oh, sorry, lady. Could you point me in the way of the shipyard? I've been looking around for hours. Uh -huh. You're the one I'm looking for. Come peacefully and you won't be harmed. Sorry, I'm busy. Maybe later. Then we'll have to do this the hard way. I told you, I'm busy! Fine! Well, I guess we're doing this now. Hello? Whoa! What? You're coming with me! Yeah, man. Change clothes, man. Neat. It's really hard to tell if 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 somebody's getting damaged with these eight frames per second that they doing. Why laughing at this? They gonna say that this bitch changed her clothes too much. Places up. <sighs> Fool. He's... Nothing is worse than the loss of life. He's... <sighs> Don't start crying, woman. What? So much for all that true strength bullshit. Uh, what did it? No. I can do this! I will play this bounty for my kill! For my strength! For my friends! I'm a blind nigga Samurai! Bring it on! You're not the only one who fights for their friends! She did. Yep, I need a city to find out. Ugh, now. Where the hell is that shipyard? I knew it. Talk about a killing blow. I knew she was going to die, but I had to go with my heart. My heart. With that. <laughs> look, 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 look. I know she was going to die, but, but, but I enjoyed her real way better than his. And I don't know why, but I did. In the past, Urza could react to projectiles flying over 500 miles per hour. But Zoro can move faster than the eye could see. U.S. Air Force tests have shown that a well-trained human eye can consistently spot and recognize an image in 1 220th of a second. 
So in this case, Zoro would have had to move from point A to point B, which is about 57 feet, in 4.5 milliseconds. That's close to 9,000 miles per hour. That's more than five times faster than a bullet. Urza didn't really rely on speed anyway, and there's no evidence any of her armor magic could have helped close that wide of a gap. Speaking of her armor, Urza did have more options in defense and weaponry. Unfortunately for her, she was simply outclassed and damage dealt. Urza could withstand hits of about two kilotons, like the blast which destroyed that island, but Zoro has dished out much stronger blows than that. Slicing Pika in half, for example, was equivalent to 11.5 megatons. That's about 6,000 times bigger than anything Urza has survived. And while Urza's artificial eye may have seen through Zoro's Nine Sword style illusion, it couldn't prevent him from actually attacking her. She also had that habit of stripping down to clear heart clothing in a bind. Yeah, it gave her more sword power, but at the cost of less defense. This sounded like a good idea on paper, but close range combat was Zoro's bread and butter. Urza was mostly self-taught, and while proficient with a blade, Zoro has trained with swords all his life. Even with the greatest swordsman in the world, an up-close duel was exactly what he was looking for. Yes, she won't be getting a fairy tale ending. The winner is Roranoa Zoro. I mean, I think he deserved it. He did a really, really good job. But I still, I still, yet and still, I'm still gonna hold, uh, hold strong to my words and say I like her, 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 her reel was better. It had more things to look at. <laughs> um, okay, original links for the creator will be down below. Um, again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for sure. Remember, 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 please leave a like. Please leave a like. Follow all my, um, please leave a like, subscribe. Make sure your notifications on. I am putting out so much content, you guys. So make sure your notifications on for us, sister. I really would appreciate that. Um, links for my other channels will be down below. Make sure y'all go subscribe to that because I'm putting out content over there. I'm putting out content everywhere. So help a little black girl dream come true by subscribing to me. Thank you. Again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And like my grandmother always states, so long. Animals and bitches feeling like the Serengeti on that trail to do no.